In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the solutions to uh, five practice exercises on solving a system of linear equations in two variables um, with the method of elimination. So these are the five questions right here. So I'm going to scroll down to uh, the solutions here. So the very first one, the uh, first equation is 2x minus y equals 6. The second one's 4x plus 3y equals 42. And you, you always have two options here. You, you can eliminate x, you can eliminate y, or whatever the two variables are. So the, um, the first one has a negative y term. So if I multiply that by 3, that'll make that negative 3y, and they'll be opposite of this 3y, and that's how we can eliminate y. If you want to, inst I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to do down here. If you instead want to eliminate x, you could, for example, multiply this by 2 to make that 4x, and that's 4x, so then you could subtract and eliminate the x's. So I'm not going to go over that solution, but it's another option you have. So, so first one here, we're taking this equation and multiplying it by 3. So 2x times 3 is 6x. Negative y times 3 would be minus 3y. And 6 times 3 is 18. Second equation here gets written exactly as it is up here. So the y terms are opposites. When they're opposite, that's when you add to eliminate a variable. So we'll add to eliminate the y's. 6x and 4x adds to 10x. 18 and 42 add to 60. So we have 10x equals 60, the y's eliminated, so now we can find what x is. To, uh, to isolate the x term or solve for x, we can take this and divide both sides by 10. That's what's being done here. So the 10s divide out to give you a 1x here on the left, and 60 divided by 10 is 6, so x equals 6 is the solution. Now, in order to find y, we can substitute that 6 into either of the original equations. I'm going to use the first one, the 2x minus y equals 6 one, but you could have used the second one as well. So here's me putting the 6 in place of x. So 2 times 6 is 12 minus y equals 6. I'm going to uh, uh, isolate the negative y term on the left. So I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides to do that. So uh, because the 12 is positive, so I take 12 away from both sides. So 12 minus 12 is 0, so I just have the negative y on the left, and 6 minus 12 is negative 6. So in order to uh, isolate the y, it's almost isolated, I have negative y equals negative 6, I can divide both sides by negative 1 to get rid of this negative here. So this is, um, this is dividing by negative 1. The negative y divided by negative 1 is positive y, and negative 6 divided by negative 1 is positive 6. So, um, so that's the solution, x is 6 and y is 6. So we're supposed to check as well. So the 2x minus y equals 6 one. So here's the left side of that 2x minus y. So we put 6 for x and 6 for y. 2 times 6 is 12. And then the y is 6, so we put 6 in there. 12 minus 6 works out to be 6. See, that is what's on the right side. So that's what it's supposed to equal. Now we'll check in this one here. So we need the 4x plus 3y equals 42 on the left. So 4x plus 3y, actually the equals 42 is the right side, I guess. So putting 6 for x and 6 for y, 4 times 6 is 24, 3 times 6 is 18, and 24 and 18 add to 42. And that's what was on the right side here, right there, 42. So it is the correct solution. So the left and right sides are just known as a typo here. This should say left side. The left side equals 42, and the right side is also 42. So the left and right sides are the same for both equations. So x equals 6, y equals 6 is the solution. Or the lines intersect at the point 6, 6. Second equation here, uh, these are the two equations. So uh, in order, we're going to eliminate uh, x in this case, so 3x and 6x. So if I multiply this by 2, I'll make that a 6x be the same as this one, and then we can eliminate the x's. So if you want to instead multiply the, uh, the and eliminate the y, we could multiply this one by 7 to make those two y terms the same and subtract to eliminate the y's. I'm going to do the x here, though. So uh, first equation multiplied by 2, so 3x times 2 is 6x, y times 2 would be 2y, and negative 7 times 2 is negative 14. So we'll write the second equation right down here exactly the same. 
So now the six axes are the same. So we're in the same, the, the same kind of thing with the same sign, subtract a zero. So six X minus six X is no axis. So that's why there's no axis here. Two Y minus seven Y is negative five Y and negative 14 minus 11. Now be careful of your signs here. You have negative 14, subtract 11. It's negative 25. Remember, that's the same as negative 14 plus negative 11. So negative 25. So that should be a negative 25 on the right here. So we can divide both sides by negative 5 to, uh, to isolate the y. So uh, negative 5y divided by negative 5 is positive y. And negative 25 divided by negative 5 is positive 5. So y is 5. Or we think y is 5. We'll, we'll make sure in the check. So now we can find x. So um, I'm going to take the 3x plus y equals negative 7, 1 here. And I'm going to put um, uh, 5 in place of y because we think that y is 5. So 5 goes here. Uh, we can subtract 5 from both sides to isolate the 3x term on the left. So 5 minus 5 is 0. So we just have the 3x on the left. Negative 7 subtract 5 is negative 12. And then we can divide out this 3 here, divide both sides by 3 in order to solve for x. So 3x divided by 3 is x, and negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4. So we think that x is negative 4 and y is 5, so we'll check in the two equations. So this is the uh, left side of the first one. See it right down here, 3x plus y. It's supposed to equal negative 7, so remember that's the right side. So we're going to put negative 4 for x and 5 for y here. So 3 times negative 4 would be negative 12, plus 5 is negative 7. And remember, that's what was on the right side, negative 7. So it checks in the first one. So second equation is this 6x plus 7y1. So 6x plus 7y is the left side. So again, we'll put negative 4 in here. And uh, y is 5, so we're putting 5 in place of y. So 6 times negative 4 would be negative 24, and plus 7 times 5 is 35. So 35 and negative 24 add to 11. And that's what was on the right side, so it checked in that one as well. So left, left side and right side are the same for both equations. So x equals negative 4 and y equals 5 is the solution, or we could say the lines intersect at the point negative 4 comma 5. Third equation here, uh, the 10x minus 3y plus 19 equals 0, and the 6x plus 2y minus 19 equals 0. So the, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is rearrange them to get these uh, uh, numbers on the right side. So I'm going to take this equation, and I'm going to subtract, because the 19 is positive, I'm going to subtract 19 from both sides. So that's, that's 0, so we just have the 10x plus 3y on the left, and 0 minus 19 is negative 19. Uh, this one here, you see the, the 19 is negative, so for that one, uh, we would add 19 to both sides. And that's what's being done in this line right here. So negative 19 plus 19 is 0, so no numbers on the end here. We just have the 6x plus 2y, and 0 plus 19 is 19. So this we'll call the first equation. The 6x plus 2y equals 19 is the second equation. To uh, eliminate y, we... Um, we would multiply, um, I'm, I'm going to uh, eliminate the, uh, the y. So we're going to multiply this equation by 2, make that a negative 6y, and this one by 3 to make it a positive 6y. So the y terms would be opposites, and we could eliminate the y. Now, if you want to eliminate x instead, uh, we could, you see, the, the smallest number that 10 and 6 both divide into evenly, the smallest common multiple they have, is, uh, is 30. So if I multiply this by 3, that will be 30x. And if I multiply this one by 5, that will be 30x, and then we could eliminate the x's. So that's another option you have. But I'm going to eliminate the uh, y here. So we're taking the first equation and multiplying it by 2. So 10x times 2 is 20x. Negative 3y times 2 is negative 6y. And negative 19 times 2 is negative 38. The second equation, we're, see, we want to make the y terms opposite, so that's why I'm multiplying this by 3. So 3 times the second equation. So 6x times 3 is 18x. 2y times 3 is 6y. And 3 multiplied by this 19 is 57. So the y terms are opposite, so we would add 
to eliminate the y's because they're opposites. So 20x and 18x adds to 38x, and negative 38 and 57 add to 19. Maybe we'll bring the calculator back here just to demonstrate that. So it's negative 38 plus 57 gives you 19. So, uh, so I have the 38x equals 19. I'm going to divide both sides by 38 to isolate the x. So 19 divided by 38 works out to a half, or 0 0.5. So there's the, the 0 0.5 there. So uh, I want to find y now. We think that x is 0 0.5. So let's take this uh, equation and um, substitute 0 0.5 in place of x and then solve for y. So 10 times 0 0.5 is 5. Uh, minus the 3y equals negative 19. So I want to isolate the negative 3y terms. So I'm going to add, subtract 5, because the 5 is positive here, from both sides. See, the 19, negative 19 has 5 subtracted from a 2. So that's 0. We just have negative 3y on the left. And negative 19 minus 5 is negative 24. So now we can divide both sides by this negative 3 here to isolate the y term. So that's what's being done here. Negative 3y divided by negative 3 is y, and negative 24 divided by negative 3 is positive 8. So we think that x is 0.5, y is 8. Now, uh, for the check here, and I've got a note written here, you should always check in the original equations. Okay, so in the original question, there's, oh, I went too far here, here we go. These are the original equations. You should not check in these because if you made a mistake here, but you did everything else after this correctly, then checking in these wouldn't find the error you made up here. Okay, so always go back to the original equations. These are the ones I'm going to check in. So uh, the left side is 10x minus 3. Notice that the right sides for both of them is just 0. So 10x minus 3y plus 19 is the left side expression. So there's there it is right there. So we think that x is... Remember, x here was 0.5 and y is 8. So we're putting 0.5 for x and then 8 for y. So 10 times 0.5 is 5. 3 times 8 is 24. So we have 5 minus 24 plus 19. Notice that 5 and 19 add to 24. Uh, minus 24 would be 0. So that equals what's on the right side. So that's a good thing. So this is the second equation. 6x plus 2y minus 19 was equal to 0. So that's the left side. So again, 0.5 goes for x and uh, 8 for y. So 6 times 0.5 is 3. 2 times 8 is 16. Again, 3 and 16 add to 19. Minus this 19 is 0, which was what's on the right side. So that's good. So the left and right sides are the same for both equations. So x is 0.5, y is 8 is the solution. Or the lines, we could say, intersect at the point 0 0.5 comma 8. Uh, number four um, is uh, an application question. So uh, we've got two numbers that have a sum of 10. You're also told that double the larger one minus triple the smaller one also gives 10. Now, if we call these numbers x and y, and we're going to refer to x as the larger number, you could do y if you want. It wouldn't matter, but you have to decide which one's going to be the bigger one, just so how you write the equations. Then the sum of 10 equation, because uh, we're told that two numbers have a sum of 10. So if we're calling them x and y, that means that x plus y equals 10. Now, uh, it also we're also told that double the larger one, and we call x the larger one. So double x would be 2x. And then minus triple the smaller one. So if y is the smaller number, then triple y would be 3y. Okay, so that's double the bigger, triple the smaller. So double the larger one minus triple the smaller one also gives 10. So we would, this equation would be 2x minus 3y equals 10. Again, that's double the larger minus triple the smaller is 10 equals 10. So there's the two equations. So this is our system here, x plus y equals 10. And this equation, 2x minus 3y equals 10. That's the one we're going to solve. And we're going to eliminate x here. Um, I'm going to multiply this equation by 2. If I want to eliminate y, I could easily multiply this by 3, and it would be the opposite of that term, so we could add then to eliminate the y's, but I'm going to do x here. So multiplying the first equation by 2 
2 times x is 2x, 2 times y is 2y, and 2 times 10 is 20 here. Second equation can stay exactly the same right there. So the x terms are the same. So if we subtract 2x minus 2x would be no x's. So 2y, now take away negative 3y, that's the same as 2y plus 3y, because we're subtracting a negative here. We're subtracting a negative, it's the same as adding. So 2y plus 3y is 5y, uh, 10 subtract, sorry, 20 subtract 10 is this 10 here. Uh, maybe we'll bring the calculator here just to uh, verify both those. So I can't, I'm not going to type in the number here, but 2 subtract the negative 3. See, that's why that's 5y, because that's the same as 2 plus 3 is 5. And then over here is subtracting 20 minus 10 versus 10. So 10 there. So we have 5y equals 10. If we divide both sides by 5 to isolate y, 10 divided by 5 gives 2. That's 2. So y is so y is 2. That's the smaller number, remember? remember. So find x. So I'm going to use the first equation, x plus y equals 10. So we're going to put 2 for y here. So x plus 2 equals 10. And so I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides to isolate the x term. So that's why I'm subtracting the 2 here. So that's 0, leaves us just x on the left. And we're going to, we have to do the same thing to both sides. So we're subtracting uh, 2 from 10 over here, which gives us 8. So x is 8. So the numbers are 8 and 2. Now, the check I'm doing here is actually a check with the text of the question. I'm not actually substituting into the equations. It says, two numbers have a sum of 10. Okay, so let's go back here. So yes, 2 and 8 do add to 10. Okay, so that checks in the first equation. Double the larger number minus triple the smaller one. So that's this equation here. Double the, double the larger minus triple the smaller should also give 10. So double the bigger number, the 8, minus triple the smaller. So 2 times 8 is 16. 3 times 2 is 6. And 16 minus 6 is also 10. So double the 8 minus triple the 2 is also 10. So it does check in the, uh, the wording for the two equations. One more question here, um, and this is actually from the Minds On section um, in, the, in this course here. This is a question that was solved by graphing, and it's a little bit difficult to solve by graphing because of the fact that one of the deaths, actually both of the numbers are decimals. And uh, so it's a little bit better to solve this by elimination because of the fact that the solutions are decimals. So uh, this one's in the same kind of form as all the questions, uh, equations up above here, but this one's isolated for y. So the first thing to do would be to change that into the same form as this one. So that's what's in this table here. So I'm going to take this second equation. That's this one right here. That's the original second equation. And the first thing I want to do is get rid of the fraction. So there's a denominator of 2 here. So I multiply all the terms by 2. So I'm multiplying the y by 2, the 5x by 2, and the negative 3 halves by 2. So uh, all the simplifying, 2 times y is 2y, 2 times 5x is 10x, and 2 multiplied by 3 halves gives us negative 3. Now I've shown that over here, 2 times 3 halves, 2 is the same as 2 over 1. It's a whole number. So if I multiply 2 times 3 is 6 in the numerator, and 1 times 2 is 2 in the denominator, 6 divided by 2 gives us 3. So that's why that is uh, a 3 on the end there. Now, uh, in order to put it in the same form as the uh, this equation up here, I want the x and y both on the left and the number on the right. So you see right now the x term is on the right side. So I want to get rid of that 10x. So I'm going to subtract 10x on both sides. That's positive. So we'll subtract 10x on both sides. So that's going to be 0. So that's why there's just a negative 3 on the left. And 2y minus 10x is what's on the left side. Now, um, I, I've, it's not quite in the same form because this says the x term first and then the y second. So I'm just going to rearrange this. See, we're subtracting 10x here. So that's the same as putting a negative 10x at the beginning. The 2y is positive, so having then plus 2y equals negative 3 here. So I'm just rearranging the order of the first two terms to put it in the same order as this one. So, so here's the system equations. This is the first equation right here. And then this is the second one. So there's the second equation right here. Now, looking at this, the uh, 
I could eliminate y if I wanted to multiply this by 3. Uh, they both be 6y's, and I could eliminate y. But you see, the x terms are opposite, so I don't need to do any multiplying at all. I can eliminate the x term by just adding those two 10 and negative, negative 10x and, and 10x, and they become 0. So that's why I'm just adding. So 10x and negative 10x add to 0. There's no x's here. 6y and 2y adds to 8y. 23 and negative 3 add to 20. 23 plus negative 3 is the same as just 23 minus 3. That's 20. So 8y equals 20. So I can divide 8 by both sides in order to isolate y. And maybe we'll bring the calculator back over here one more time. Uh, 20 divided by 8 gives you 2.5. So y is 2.5. Remember I said the uh, solutions were decimals, so there's uh, what y is. So now we can find x by substituting, substituting 2.5 in place of y in one of the original equations. So I'm going to use the uh, 10x plus 6y equals 23 one. So there's my original first equation. So I'm going to put 2.5 in place of y here. Actually, maybe we'll bring the calculator back one more time. Uh, so 6 times 2.5. So that works out to be 15. So now in order to uh, isolate the 10x term, I'm going to take this is a 15 is positive here. I'm going to subtract 15 from both sides. So that would be 0. That's why there's just 10x on the left here. 23 minus 15 is 8. And then I'll divide both sides by 10. So... 10x divided by 10 is x. 8 divided by 10, remember I said there are decimals, is 0 0.8. So there's my 0 0.8 for x. So let's check in the two equations. So this is the first equation here. So I'm going to put 0 0.8 for x and 2.5 for y. So 10 times 0 0.8 is 8. 6 times 2.5 is 15, adds to 23. That is exactly what I want because there was a 23 right here. Now, I'm not going to check in this one. Remember the previous question? I want to check in the original equation. So that one right there. So we're going to check in this one. So the left side is y, uh, which is 2.5. Okay, So there's nothing to evaluate here. The right side is this 5x minus 3 halves expression. So uh, in place of the x, we're putting 0 0.8. Remember, x is 0 0.8. We put 0 0.8 here. So 5 times 0 0.8 is 4. Now, 3 halves, 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. So I'm just going to change that to 1.5. So we have 4 minus 1.5, which is 2.5, okay? uh, which is uh, exactly what we want because, remember, the left side was 2.5. So 2.5 for both. So the left side and right sides are the same in both equations. Uh, so x is equal to 0.8 and y equals 2.5 would be the solution. And that's the end of the tutorial.